I think I got it. I think I made mod load without unnecessarily freezing. Um, let's uh, get started and take a look. If you're new to my channel, I'm building a fireworks simulator game while having a wife, two kids, a full-time day job and a dog. The game is already on Steam, so go check it out. It's called Fireworks Mania, and you can find a link in the description. So, okay, I um, think I fixed the majority of this loading thing. Um, in the last devlog, I showed that I made it work, but then, you know, it made the loading work, but then the rest of it didn't work, like when you got into the game, nothing worked or parts of it doesn't work didn't work um so i think i fixed that now but um let's start out this video by making the game load 256 mods while recording this video so you can see so we have that running here in the background so uh, i have a lot of mod mods installed uh, and the reason it's because you might be thinking okay uh 256 that's not how that's not the amount of mods that we have on mod io or in the workshop and that's correct but uh, the thing is this one is counting all the actual mods um that is inside a mod in mod io if that makes sense but in mod io it's a zip file and you can have multiple mods inside a mod in the workshop if that makes sense doesn't matter there's a lot of mods installed. I don't know if I, if I have everything from mod, mod IO installed, but I have a lot at least. So let's take a look here. Let's just start the game and let's see what happens. And it starts loading. And while it's loading in the background here, we can uh, look at some of the other stuff uh, that I have completed in this week. Um, you can see now here, for instance, that it's preparing mods. And after this step, it's going to load the mods, which takes a little more time. So let's take a look here. So uh, I have uh, made this, um, yeah, avoid mod loading, freezing the game async. async. Um, and one little note there is that the game can actually still freeze. You might see it in a moment. Uh, and while I'm recording, the freezing is a little worse than than uh, when not recording. So of course it's up to the machine. But the thing is that um, it's as always, as I have mentioned many times, when building a game, it's always a balance between um, uh, performance and yeah, visual effects or how it's perceived. Or There's a lot of things you have to kind of balance out when making a game. and. I can actually make the game not freeze at all while loading mods, but then the loading time is like double the amount that we have before. Where in this current version from my um, <laughs> uh, my timings and my tests, the mods are actually loading now faster than they are in the old version where it just you know starts loading and then it freezes up for like two or three minutes maybe, um, and then it comes back. In this version, it runs as you can see down here in the in the side and before i don't know if you saw it but it kind of started to freeze up before but it's very small amount of time it does that um and it's where it loads some mod but again it's um it's when it's loading a big mod it can freeze out for some time but it's very short amount of time you can see it do it now and this time is a little longer now because i'm recording and my machine is kind of asking me to replace it because it's doing this a lot lately um, because I have more and more stuff running and have OBS running some scripts and all, yeah, and Unity running and all some stuff like that. So what I'm trying to say is that these freeze you see here will hopefully be a little shorter on your end. But now you can see again, compared to the old version, where it would just freeze up for like all the time, this one gets actually back and you can actually see the progress down here. You can see how far you are. Uh, what mod is actually loading, what version, and how far it is um, with the total amount of uh, mods. So, I'm looking forward to hear what you think about this new um, thing, and if it works on your machine, and if it's fa faster than before, that would be interesting to know. Now it freezes up a little again, but then it's back again already. And I think this is a fair thing to kind of, um, it's a fair price, you know, we can't get both speed and totally uh, non-freezing. So um, yeah, this is the, what's it called? Um, compromise. 
uh, that we um, that we have to do to get both speed and a working game. So as it's continuing here, let's um, just quick look here. Oops. Okay. Now it's actually so now it's actually inside the game, and we can start firing off stuff. But before we do that, let's get. Uh, let me find the mouse. So let's take a f at some of the stuff I've done here. So as I said, loading mods without freezing is kind of done now. It looks like it's done now. So um, I'm looking forward to hear what you think about it. It will be on experimental branch. Oh, I forgot to say that. What you see here is as this video goes out, it's on the experimental branch. It's version 2022 5.2. And um, yeah, looking very much forward to hear what you think about that. Um, that is for sure the biggest change in this video and this uh, version that this mod loading thing uh, and it's been quite a while where I thought it worked and then it didn't work and then I thought it worked again and then it didn't fully work and a lot of back and forth. So, um, okay, so I updated the loading screen images thanks to Kelsisar who were, were helped out with, um, with screenshots. I don't know if you saw it before but while it was loading it's actually changing now the background images and the tooltips as it go. So there is something to look at while it loads. Um, then I fixed, well, then I changed some Steam uh, picture. It was just like this one up here. Previously had this little yellow thing saying new content or something like that, but it's kind of not new anymore. So I removed it so we can get it back at some point when there are actually something new. Um, and then I fixed a bug where you um, sometimes when you some items when you pick them up in your hand they would kind of collide with your body so you would just start flying around so that's fixed now uh, another one about some arrows being locked when you hide the ui you didn't see that i guess then there's an interesting one which is actually an experimental one where i added some um smoke to all the fires you can just quickly take a look at that i think i have some some propanes locked up here and um, I wanted something I thought about for a while and um, now I actually tried it out. So what I've changed is that the, the big fires now, when something goes into fire, the big fires will generate smoke to kind of add to the mayhem of yeah, things going nuts. Of course, this is only when stuff goes to go uh, burst into fire and uh, uh, yeah, iron file like you see here, but it. I try to make it a little s sudden, so it's not too much, but still wanted to add to the mayhem, you know, feeling like, you know, when stuff like this happens. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see kind of this smoke thing here. I might do a setting to remove it. I might remove it completely. Um, it's in this version, so you can test it out and see if you get any performance hits by it. Um, most of you shouldn't notice much performance hits, but um, yeah, let me know what you think. At least I think it adds to the feeling of mayhem. <laughs> so um, yeah, I wanted to try that out. Might remove it. Let's see. Um, picked up object looks bad once they uh, are ignited. Yeah, that's another thing when you had some... Let's see here. Uh, propane tank. So before, when you had a propane tank in your hand and you ignited it, it would start going, oh, going uh, nuts, jumping around. And now it actually sticks in place while you have it in your hand. Um, tiny thing, but it um, it just looked a little weird before. Uh, so what we have? Uh, that's basically it. Well, oh yeah, we have one more thing. Yeah, update the localized localization. So there is some new um, text, and I added this setting for the ambient volume. And what does that mean? Well, it means that you can now go into settings here, and you can turn down the ambient volume. That means that these crickets going on in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that sound, but it's kind of annoying. Um, and especially for modders having the game run in the background while working on a mod, it's really annoying listening to this. So now you can turn it down completely or turn it up or whatever. And no, Superdusel, you cannot turn it up to more than 100%. So if you really want these loud cricket sounds, you have to play a video in the background and just turn it up to 11 but um, a little uh, 
a little nice feature. And now my phone is uh, ringing, so that's it for today. See you in the next video. Bye.